Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready to start? Today, we're going to work in our legs mobility and flexibility. So let's start. We're going to take a couple of breaths before we start. So we're going to move our arms up. Breathe into your nose. Breathe out your mouth. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Just concentrate in the present moment. One more. Breathe in. And now, now we're going to take a couple of breaths. Breathe into your nose long. Feel the pulse and breathe out through your nose. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in and out. We're going to use the breath to keep us concentrating while we are doing, connect our mind and our body, but also to release tension or some pain that you might have. Remember that we're going to go as far as it feels good for your body. Never stretch when you feel pain. If it starts to be painful, just slow down. You can bend your knees, bend more your spine, so you can adapt, but try to never stretch with pain. So let's start. We're going to start on all fours. So let's move on to all four. Remember this part. We're going to avoid that the weight collapse on your wrist. So we're going to point the index fingers forward and the other fingers spread. We're going to press with the fingertips as well. So we try to don't let the fingers flat, stay flat on the ground. Keep the same with hips, knees, and feet, and your hips above your knees. Let's go on to cat and cow. So we go breath in, tuck the pelvis in, move chin to chest, and exhale, move your pelvis forward, arch in our back, lift in the chest. And again, we inhale, start from your tailbone in, curving your spine, all the way into your neck, move chin to chest. Exhale, tail move out and leave your chest and arch your back. Let's go for three more. Anytime you can close your eyes and breathe out. And again, when you are closing your eyes, just really feel the movement of your spine. And exhale. Remember, we go slow so we can feel our whole body. Back onto neutral. And from here, we're going to engage our tummy. We're going to lift the right knee and we're going to make a circle around of your legs. So first, you move the knee forward, sideways, backwards, and in. And we just go four, five, and four, and three, and two. And just one more. We change the direction so we start backwards, side, front, and back. Let's go five. Let's go four. Let's go three. And two. And just one more. Fantastic. Let's go other leg. Now, to don't let the weight collapse on your wrist, press with your fingertips as well. As you can see, catch when the weight is going only on the wrist and just press with your fingertips to balance the weight. So let's go left knee. So left knee in, out, back, and in, out, back, in. Let's go three. Use your breath. Two. And just one more. Now we change the direction. We go backwards. Let's go four, three, two, and just one more. Good. And release. Now from here, we're going to do half frog. So we're going to lie down on our El uh, our tummy, elbows on the ground, and we're going to slide the knee on the side, just one knee, to half frog. And here we're just going to rest our arms on our, our, ha our head in our hands, and we're just going to rest here. Now this half position is going to help us to stretch your inner thigh and have more mobility and flexibility in your legs. Let's hold here. Close your eyes, everybody. Let's breathe together. Let's go for four. And... Let's go for three, 
bad. Let's go to... Uh, and just one more. And gently drag the leg in. We're going to go other side. Slide the left knee. Then you already are familiar with this frog position. Rest your hands, your head on your hands. And we just relax for breath. Breath in. Don't worry as far as the pelvis can go down, okay? Just make it gently for you. Let's hold here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. And out. One more. And out. Fantastic. Release your leg in. We're going to go up dog. So again, if it's too much for you, keep your hands under your shoulders. You can keep your hands a little bit forward, okay? As far as you feel good. We're going to breathe in. Gently press your feet on the ground. Extend your arms. Don't worry, the hips move up. It's okay. Just keep your knees on the ground and press your feet on the floor and your hands. Pull up your tummy. We're going to hold here two deep breaths. Shoulders down. Breath in, out, one more, and out. Back on to all fours, curl your toes under, push yourself down, dog, and remember here, we extend our back. Don't worry if your heels don't go to the floor. Don't worry your legs are not straight. Just make sure that your back is straight. So just to be 100%, we're going to slightly bend your knees and push the hands against the ground to push the hips backwards. We hold here four breath, completely straight your back. You can keep your legs bent just at the beginning to warm up. Let's hold four. And uh, let's go three. And uh, let's go two. And out. Uh, just one more. And out. Uh, release slowly your knees back onto the ground. How it feels good. We're gonna back to cat and cow. Toes pointing away. And let's go. Breath in. Cat stretch, curving your spine, chin to chest. Exhale, moving your pelvis forward, arching your back. It feels great this part. And let's keep going for three. Breath in. And breathe out. Let's go for two. And out. Just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Feels fantastic this part. Back onto neutral. We're going to curl the toes under and we're going to slide the right leg backwards. This time we're going to cross toes to the left and try to look from above your shoulder. And then come back. Okay? So let's go. For five. And back for four and back. You can keep your foot flex or point. Let's go two back and one more, but this time we hold and we try to watch our foot so we can curve the neck as well. We hold four breath, breathe in, keep your tummy in and out. Let's go for three and out. Let's go two. Out, and just one more. And now back to center and drop your knee. In case that you have some discomfort on your knee, you can always place a towel, a mat, anything is good for you. Let's go other leg. Ready? So first we slide the foot and we go breath in, breath out. Toes to the right and watch your leg. And back. Let's go for four. And back. Me, I prefer to have it flex because I can stretch my calf muscles. Let's go for two. Back. One more, but this time we hold. We watch towards the shoulder. And anytime you feel tired, you can point your foot. Let's hold for four. And three. And two. Feels great. And just one more. We release. And we're going to back again to the frog. So we lie down, open you, right knee. But this time we're going to try to move the foot, 
close to you all the time. So it's half butterfly. Now here you can keep your hands, your head <laughs> resting on your hands, or you can open your arms to open your chest. We're gonna hold here for breath. Breath in and breath out. Let's go for three. And uh, just use the breath to release. Let's go two. And uh, just one more. And uh, fantastic. Now help you with your hands to drag the leg in. And let's go other side. You can keep as well half frog, or you can drag your foot close to the other thigh onto half butterfly. You can keep your head resting on your hands or just open your arms beside your shoulders. And we just rest here for breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And a two. And just one more. Gently drag the hands in, move the legs together. And remember for this back bend, which is kind of variation of cobra and up dog, you can hold it just here with your elbows on the ground. You don't, remember, never feel discomfort in your lower back when you are doing back bends. You can lift your elbows and keep your hands far away so it doesn't feel too much pressure on the lower back. Or you can move your hands completely at the chest level, your thumbs under the chest, and we extend the arms fully. If the hips stay on the ground, fantastic. If the hips move up, it's good. Now be careful, no shoulders up. We move the shoulders down, elbows in. We press with the hands and the feet on the floor to kind of carry your own weight. A stretch here, you tell me, really visualize the middle line of the body and stretch that line. Let's hold here for four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for two and out. Just one more, and now back onto all fours. Curl the toes under, press through your fingertips, lift your knees. Let's go down dog. This time we try to extend the legs if you feel good. If not, keep your legs slightly bent, okay? But this time we're gonna move in the heels up by curling your toes under and exhale heels down as far as good for us. And let's go for three and and two, it feels great. Down, just one more. And gently drop your knees back onto the floor. Take your all fours position. Balance the weight between your wrist and your fingers. And this time we're gonna breathe in. Move the knee in and curve your spine. Breathe out, we're gonna move the leg out and open as far as it feels good. And again, in. And open, and in, and open, and let's go, eight, and open, let's go, seven, open, let's go, six, when the leg is in, we curve, and here back to neutral, well done, let's go for five, open, Let's go for four, open, let's go for three, kick, well done, two, open, just one more, just in case here when we open you can keep your foot parallel or you can open your foot on the side to help it to go a little bit further. Fantastic everybody, how it feels? Good, let's go other side, ready? Breathe in, curving your spine, knee in, breathe out, stretch out. Again, you can flex upon your foot. Let's go for nine, keep your tummy in, and kick. Let's go for eight, and kick. Let's go for seven, and kick. Let's go for six, and kick. Let's go for five, and kick, let's go for four, and kick, and let's go three, kick, two, kick, and one more, and 
kick. Well done. Now we're going to point the toes away. Open your knees wider. And we're just going to sit back as far as you can go. Use your hands and, and your elbows to push your way backwards towards to your heels. We move chin to chest. And we're just going to rest here for four. Three, two, and just one more. Back again on to all fours. And this time we're going to use do the clam. Okay, so check your all fours, spread the way between your fingertips and your hands. Breathe in and breathe out. We're going to lift the knee to the side without forcing. And down. Ready? Let's go. Ten. And nine. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And just one more. Fantastic. Other side. Ready? Let's go. Ten. And now we're working a lot. Our mobility in our inner, inner thigh to open our legs to our external rotation. Let's keep going. Five. And four. And three. And two. And just one more. Now from here, you can keep your knees in this position. We open our legs to the butterfly and we're going to try to lie down onto the butterfly position. If you feel this is not good for you, you can come back just one leg and then the other one, okay? So let's stay here. You can keep your forehead just on your hands and we're just going to rest here as far as it's good. If you feel this comfort on your knees, you can always place a towel under your knees. We're going to rest here for four and three, two, and just one more. Gently we drag the knees together, back again, up dog. I need you to press your feet gently on the ground to extend your, the front of your thighs. Lift your tummy, shoulders down, elbows in. We take four breaths. Breathe in, pull off your tummy. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Back again, all fours. We curl the toes under, back on two. Down dog, stretching here. Try to at this time press with your hands again onto the ground to push the tailbone backwards. Keep your arms straight, your back straight, and your legs as far as you can go without pain. Let's hold here for breath. Breathe in. And let's go three. And let's go two. And just one more. Super, everybody. Drop gently your knees onto the ground. And we're going to slide the right knee forward. Let's go into sleeping pigeon. You can keep your heel under your bum, but if it's touching your bum, you can open up a little bit. Remember, as far as you feel good in your knee. We're going to bend the back knee. We're going to catch our foot if it's possible. If not, use a belt or a towel. And we're going to lean forward to stretch our thighs. We're going to hold here for four, keeping your hips square. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Feels great for your quads. Release your foot, raise your torso. We're going to take only one breath here. Breathe in, stretch your tummy, and out. Push your palms back again onto the ground. Let's go all the way down dog. We push our tailbone upwards by pressing your hands on the ground using your fingertips. We hold for four. And uh, let's go for three. 
Anna. Now let's go to Anna. Just one more. Anna. Fantastic, everybody. Drop your knees back onto the ground. Slide the left knee forward. Again, you can keep your foot under or you prefer to open up, but just make sure that your hips are square. We're going to bend our back leg, catch our foot. We lean forward. And we hold it here. Breath in. And uh, three. Two. And just one more. Release. And we just raise our torso. We take here a good breath. Breath in. And push yourself back onto all fours. This time we're going to step forward, right foot, extend the front leg as far as you can, and flex your foot, and we hold your four breath. Breathe in. And now, doesn't matter if your leg is bent, it still is good for us. And let's go for three. And two. Just one more. Great, everybody. Bend your knee and step backwards. Let's go other leg. So let's go left one. And just swing backwards your hips. Extend the front leg as far as good for you and flex your foot. We hold four breath. Breathe in. And let's go for a three. And let's go for a two. And out, and just one more, and out, release everybody, and slide the foot backwards, we're going to lie down on our tummy, we're going to bend the right leg, you can catch just your right foot, or if it's possible for you, catch both, in case that you cannot catch one of your foot, you need to use a towel or a belt. If you are just going one foot, we're going to hold four breaths and then change the leg. If you have both, we're just going to hold here a breath. So your face is resting on one side first for four and then moving to the other side for the other four. So let's start here. I wanted to ask you that instead to push your feet in, we're going to press your hips down on the ground to extend your thighs. Feels different. So let's hold here. Let's start. Breathe in. Anna feels great. Breathe in. Uh, breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. If you have one foot hold, change it. And the rest we hold here for another four breath. But this time we're going to move the face opposite direction. Remember, gently press your hips against the ground. To extend your thighs. We hold for four and three. Be careful that you don't have pain on your knee. Two. And just one more. And gently release your feet. Move your hands beside your chest. Push your body up onto all fours. And we're going to sit back on the child pose. You can keep your arms to the front or you can bend your elbows, palms together and move your hands behind the head like a shark fin. We hold for four, three, two, and just one more. Please, and raise your torso. Feels great. Your legs feel fantastic. If you want to repeat the routine, you just click in the chapter, so it will bring you back as we, where we start. Thank you so much for coming. Let's do our last three breaths just to waking us up and get us ready for the day. On the night, we are doing at night time. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out through your mouth. 
arms down, breath in, and just one more, and hands back prayer position, thank you for joining us. And remember that you can find our full courses for beginners, for advanced, and intermediates in sacredbodystudio.ie. Also, our teaching course fully online. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.